You are what I'm looking for. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun project using my Gemvelope template reference book and the Stamperia Blue Dream 12x12 pattern paper. We're going to be creating a business style mini slimline envelope using my Gemvelope template reference book. So I'm going to flip through the Blue Dream collection and settle on a piece of paper that I want to use for my project. I want something that the orientation doesn't really matter so much and I think I found the piece that I like. I love this beautiful brick wall with beautiful flowers. So for this project we need a piece of paper that measures eight and a half inches by nine inches. Now when we cut the paper we need to make sure that our pattern is upright and we make our first cut at nine inches. If you have pattern paper that doesn't have an orientation that matters, then this isn't going to matter. So making one turn and cutting to eight and a half inches. And I love this cut, perfectly saved a cute little kitty on a ledge. I think I'll use that to create another project. So going back to my template book, I'm going to I'm just going to make sure that I cut the right way. So the nine inch side is upright and that's perfect for what I need. So I'm going to pop it into my scoreboard and across the eight and a half inch side, we're going to make one score at one and a half inches and then another score at five and a half inches. And then I'll rotate my paper one turn and across the nine inch side, I'm going to score at one inch and then eight inches. And this is going to be all the scoring that we need to do for this particular project. This is going to create a really beautiful envelope. So once my scoring's done, I'm going to take a look at my template book and it tells me where I need to cut. So we need to cut off the corners and in the template guide, there's a dark purple area outlined that we need to cut away. So I'll just grab my scissors and I'm going to follow along that score line, making sure that I get nice straight cuts. And if anything doesn't come out as straight as I want it, we can always trim up towards the end once it's all complete. So I'll just cut off those areas and then we should have something that looks like this. And now we're going to make some angle cuts on these four corners. So we don't have any score lines here. This is just going to be a freehand cut and it's not really going to matter too much. Um, this is just to help everything fold together so those little corners don't get in the way. Okay, and now I'm going to crease all of my score marks. I'll use my bone folder to get nice sharp creases. And then once that's done, you can see our envelope coming together. We need to apply some adhesive on the larger part on the inside, just on these two flaps here to be able to seal up our envelope. So I'll get that adhesive and I'll press it in with my bone folder and boom, we have a beautiful mini slimline envelope. And now here we can come in and trim if there's anything sticking up and our envelope is complete. Super quick and simple. If you want to decorate your envelope, you could do some pretty border punches. You could add some beautiful foil for the inside to create an envelope liner, but I really like the way this looks. I just round the corners and there we go. Our envelope is complete. Now in the next page in my template book, there is a sheet that gives you a guide to cut and score a mini slimline card base. And there are also layers in quarter inch increments if you wanna layer up papers on your card. Now, when I cut this, I took my template book away and I made the wrong cuts. I ended up cutting this down to six and three quarters by seven and a half. So for a typical slimline card that I like to make, I would cut the paper by six and a half inches by seven inches and then score across the seven inch side and score at three and a half inches. That will give you a slimline card base that measures six and a half by three and a half. And in this case, in my example that I've made here today, I ended up having a card base that was three and three quarters by six and three quarters. That's okay, it worked out just fine. It fit in my envelope perfectly. I'm gonna grab one of those scrap 
off-cut pieces of paper from when we started making this envelope. I'm also going to grab a pack of shimmer cardstock. This is something I picked up from Michaels. It's got a really cool selection of rainbow shimmer paper. And I'm gonna cut my shimmer cardstock down to six and a half inches by three and a half inches and I'll just leave those scraps off to the side. I'm gonna use some of those later on. So I'm creating a matte layer for my pattern paper here. So now I'm gonna cut my pattern paper down to three and a quarter by six and a quarter. So now we have a nice cute little quarter inch border all the way around our panel. And then I'm gonna grab some foam squares and I'm gonna pop up this beautiful piece onto the front of my slimline cart. Now I'm creating this card as a portrait style. The envelope is landscape, but the card is portrait, and that's perfectly fine. It looks lovely. And the last thing I'm gonna do is grab a sentiment. I have a basket of black cardstock with white heat embossed sentiments on it, and these are tailored expression simple strips. I love having these on hand to make quick and easy cards. I'll link in the description box down below where I got these. I popped down a cute little greeting that says birthday blessings and that's it. I'm not going to do anything else to the card. The card is complete. You can write your message on the inside and it will fit perfectly inside of our beautiful slimline envelope. Now to step up the envelope just a little bit more, I decided to take a scrap of that shimmer cardstock. I just rounded the corners here and I'm going to create a little closure that we can tuck the envelope flap in. So I applied adhesive on half of that little piece there and I'm going to center it up on my envelope and stick it down to the back, making sure that that adhesive only sticks to the back part of the envelope and not the little envelope flap, because the envelope flap should be free to be able to lift out and then you can tuck it away and you don't have to add any adhesive that might end up ripping the beautiful creation that we've made. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is take another one of those scraps and create a little banner and pop that into the right-hand side of my envelope. And our project is complete. Super quick and simple. An absolutely beautiful mini slimline card and envelope using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this cute, quick and easy little project. If you're interested in any of the products that I used here today, including my Jumbo template reference book, you'll find everything linked in the description box down below. Thanks so much for joining me. Have yourself a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.